What are the sports pain points that periphery products are solving for their customers? I think it's no surprise really to say that in sports the usage of media is just exploding. All of the cameras we have at stadiums, all of the ways that we can track players and uh, sports events and the way that we can monetize them is just night and day different than even five years ago, ten years ago. And actually if you go back further, we almost want to cry because we've lost so much data, so much footage of famous players, famous teams, famous moments, things we could be analyzing and using and monetizing. And the world has changed now, but the way that we handle the data, the, the way that we preserve that media, needs to keep up with the amount of media that's being created. So not just keeping it, preserving it, stopping it from being lost, but also how we can enable the analysis and monetization of the media system, of the media in the systems. And uh, you're working with ATP Media. How does Periphery help them with their needs? ATP Media, the Tennis uh, Professionals Association, go around the world and they shoot tournaments that are happening. The, um, uh, the tournaments that they're shooting, they often have editors on site, they're producing uh, new media, but they also need to be able to access the media that exists in the archive. So first of all, they need to have that media library online. They need to be able to search it and they need to be able to grab clips from the media. You know, a typical tennis match, that could be a three hour long video. You're not going to download a three hour long video. You might want to just have 10 seconds of that in order to do an intake or another part of the production. So ATP Media have this growing archive of tennis matches. They need access to it. They need to be able to ingest events into that media library. And they need to be able to do that with efficiency wherever they are filming from in the world. Some of the things we bring for them in that setup is not just the safe preservation of the data, but also the ability to have asset management across that, to have their own tools from third parties that run in an efficient way with the media library. And they could have done that on some public cloud platforms, and they could have done that with some public compute platforms. But of course, we all know that when we go down that road, we have to do a cost analysis of what that's doing. So what we have for ATP Media is actually a private cloud that is their cloud, has guaranteed bandwidths, has brilliant data preservation, but it also allows them to hook up their own applications without the costs that come with some other public platforms. Okay, and you're also working with football clubs like Everton. Tell me more about what you do here. Yes, uh, professional football is, of course, seeing the same growth of media that we're seeing across the rest of, of the industry. And Everton Football Club is a great example of that. They're just about to move into a new stadium. They had a chance to revise what are we doing now? What do we want to be doing as we go forwards? So the kind of media that you can keep in, in the platform, and this is something we do with um, the uh, Millennium Stadium or Principality Stadium, in Wales with, with that stadium setup, there are all kinds of media being created at that stadium. It could be training videos, it could be um, crowd monitoring um, types of things that need to be kept on a temporary basis. It could be uh, looking at the usage of advertising during games, it could be the, the media that you want to monetize the games themselves or player interviews, you know, uh, archive of media clips that you need to be able to monetize. So we give that, enable that for Everton, for the Principality Stadium in Wales, to be able to do all of these things and to be able to do that again with a private cloud, without the overheads of a public cloud, but with guaranteed bandwidths and in a very efficient way. And one of the things that we see, of course, coming in, you, you'll have heard of this, AI, uh, it's been used to analyze, reanalyze those archive footages. So you need to have egress-free ways of going through your archives. And if you have to pay to reanalyze them with your AI, that can ramp up your costs. So we also enable that for Everton and for the Principality Stadium in Wales. That's great, thank you, Jonathan. Thank you very much.